All right, cool. So nobody's here. It's all good. So uh, taking this time right now to kind of point out the differences. I know a lot of people got that new uh, Cyborg Spider-Man. And so how do you know if you got a real one versus how do you know if you got a fake one? Uh, so we're going to take a look at some of the differences right now. Kind of is my little give back to the community. So let's see. Looks like for some reason three people are watching. Shout out to people not asleep right now. Appreciate y'all doing this and looking. All right. So let's see. I can't wait for the info. All right. So. I know a lot of y'all been seeing that everybody's posting. So real quick, can y'all spot the fake one? Anybody? I'll give you a hint. I'm holding the fake one. They're not the same. They're not. They're both not real. So, uh, hang on. I already forgot which one's the real one. Uh, okay. So, this one right here is the real one. Now, how can you spot a real one? So, if you first, you look, the real one has a plastic bandana. A fake actually has some soft goods with it. So, it flows in the wind. In case you're playing with your Spider-Man and the wind's blowing, it actually has some play to that little uh, head wrap right there. Um, another way to spot the fake is that it, there's a hole in the back. A real Spider-Man would not have a hole. Wait, hold on. I think I got them mixed up. Okay, no, okay. So the real one, he does have a hole in the back. Uh, that's if he wants to play Captain America later. Hasbro went ahead and uh, did that for y'all. They, they put the hole in the back so you could be Captain America Spider-Man. Um, another way to tell the fake one from the real one is that the... If you see here, the real one has the ab crunch thing with the little twisting. Whereas the fake one... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay, all right, so the real one right here, he doesn't have the little chest swivel thing on him. He has the the waist swivel with the ab crunch. It's hard to tell because the the fake one actually maneuvers better, but the real one doesn't have that. Uh, let's see. Now, another main difference you may see is that the the fake one, this is a dead giveaway, the fake one has a belt with a gun on it. So that's, a, that's a, because Spider-Man doesn't really shoot people all that much from what I'm aware. I mean, I think, to be honest, I think if they let Tobey Maguire go to uh, Spider-Man 4 we might have seen Spider-Man pull a pistol on a few people but the fake cyborg Spider-Man he he has a gun the real one does not uh, let's see another thing about the uh, the fake one so it's going to be hard to tell as far as like the hands they both have that web shooting hand and they both have that bionic cyborg fist going on right there um, so the real one has solar panels right there to keep all of the electronics and the robotics going properly whereas the fake one uh, doesn't have a solar panel so obviously his cybernetics they're not going to work properly because he has to constantly recharge them I'm assuming it's probably like a USB-C charger cable because you know, he's he's from the future or, you know, it's futuristic. So. But that is another main difference right there. 
Um, if you'll notice also the eyes right there, I know it's hard to tell which one's the fake, but uh, okay, yeah. So this one right here is the fake. Uh, as you can see, the, the the little laser eye protrudes a lot further than it does on the real one. The real one also has a silver like goggle on it, I guess. So that's a dead giveaway. Um, let's. Oh, here we go. Another another uh, giveaway is the fake one. The eyes held on with the head wrap, with the little. Uh, karate thing where's the wait is this the real one yeah the real one he has the head wrap and he has a little leather strap that holds that little eyepiece on so let's see in the chat always thinking ahead yeah they are man always thinking ahead I don't have a Captain America shield but I, it, it goes there uh, so this part's going to be hard to tell because the real one, the thigh bandage, it can slide up and down. See that it slides up and down. Whereas the fake one, it also slides up and down. So the bootleggers, they really got that one down. They were like, we have a strong feeling the bandage is going to slide. So they let it slide. They have it like that. They both have those moth joints for the shoulders. Those moth shoulders right there. Let's see, they're both working with the moth shoulder. Um, now, on the real one, you probably see some messed up paint job. That's how you know it's from a factory versus a fake one that was probably handmade in a sweatshop somewhere. You can find, see the fine detail on that. Um, another thing here about the real and the fake one is. All right. So if you look at, at the butts. The real one. Right here obviously is not wearing underwear or else that suit wouldn't go right up the crack. Whereas the fake one is probably wearing underwear. It's not so deep in it. So, you know, hey, what's up, IE? What's going on? Thanks for joining the live stream here. Just doing a little comparison, let everybody know so they don't get ripped off. I think my internet just goes bad at like 1 a.m. because it's all slow and jacked up right now. All right, so now let's talk about more about this little belt pouches here. It's on the real one. Yeah, on the real one, he has like a, a tan color belt. Like a, it's like the, the the default leather that you could buy. Whereas the fake one, he has a black belt. It's black leather. It might even be synthetic leather. I don't know. This one looks more like he's like animal rights activist versus... I hope four cows died just to make my pouches on my belt. And as I is saying, probably wearing a man thong. Yeah, that has to be man thong. If he's not just going commando, which if they called this commando Spider-Man, I still I would have bought it faster than cyborg Spider-Man. But, you know, that's that's a marketing thing right there. Is the black belt why he has the karate thing? Asks Big Boy. That is. It actually is. So he has the black belt. So he has the karate thing. He has a leather belt. So he has. Um, looks like a piece of old t-shirt. That he tied around his head. To help keep. The little eye patch on. So as you can tell. If you do get the two of them. The fake one is a little bit better build, better quality, um, more PG-13 versus the real one. So uh, if you look at the spiders as well on the backs, this spider looks more like he's part of a biker gang. 
It's real big and flashy across the back. This one's more subtle. Like, I just want to save people, you know? In fact, even the, the one on the chest, right there. Can't see because I got a crappy webcam, but it's right there. It's the little bee spider. Versus this tarantula that he has on his chest. So, let's see. We got people. I agree. The, the custom knockoff might be better than the real one. So let's take a look at the the heads. There we go, right there. So if you look, the fake one, the black spider webs go all the way up through the hole in the neck. Fake one, oh, they quit. They quit halfway. Give you a big old joint right there. They get, kind of just quit on you. So that's another thing. I'm going to give it up for the fake one again all right let's take a look here and see since it's soft goods it does have a little bit more play on the fake one so if you wanted to make that eye a little bit more menacing off to the cocked off to the side like that you could do that you could do that um as far as the the feet let's take a look All right, so the feet looks like the real one has a thicker heel, but the fake one has a slightly larger foot. And this is probably due to the fact that he's carrying around the extra solar panel on his arm that it causes him to get, I guess, like water weight in his ankles or in his heels. Whereas this one, clearly that's a platinum wrap, I'm assuming. Probably a little bit lighter because it's probably just a thin layer. They are both flat-footed. Thank you for pointing that out, IE. So that's another thing. Had the fake one been wearing high heels, been a lot easier to tell them apart. But he's not. They're both flat-footed. So look out for that. Um, if you look as well, the design on the boots, the fake one, it's a lot more detailed. Where's the real one? They're like, I'll just throw one, two, three, four, five, six. Just throw six stripes on there. Nobody's going to tell the difference. They're going to buy it. It's Spider-Man. So another win for the fake one versus the real one. But that's the quickest way to tell a fake from a real one. Um, did anybody in the chat have any questions? I see we got three people for some reason. Is there any other questions on the differences or how to tell them apart? Do you maybe have bought one that you think may have been a fake one versus a real one? All right, let's see. Okay, nobody. All right. Oh, there we go. Is the eye removable on the fake? So let's take a look at that because he does have soft goods. So... The eye is, in fact, it is removable. So if you want your Cyborg Spider-Man to have 2020 vision eye sight versus the red eye sight and the other eye, I don't know, 2130 vision. I don't know what that means, but yeah, it's removable. Let's see. If I'm in the club, how can you tell if the girl you're about to go home is really a female? Oh, that's easy. I've actually been asked that a few times. Uh, you want to check to see if the female has testicles. If she does, it's not a real female. You have a man, probably. Um, now, it could be a transgender as well. So whatever pronoun they decide to go with, you could also call them that. But um, a natural born female would not have a male genitalia attached, um, if that's what you're looking for, the natural born female. Uh, Thanos the Mad Titan. Hey, it's the prosecutor from Idiocracy. Uh, no, it's actually Cyborg Spider-Man. Cyborg Spider-Man right here. That's who we're that's who we're looking at. All right, so let's just put that eye right back in. There we go. All right, so we got the eye back in, and once again, can't tell. Can't tell the difference right there. 
But if y'all do pick them up, be sure to make sure you look for all of those things. Um, in fact, this one right here, you could probably take this layer off and heat up like a chicken nugget in the oven with it. If you don't have a tray or anything like that, this one, it's not as useful. But, you know, I guess so this one would be the more versatile spider cyborg Spider-Man versus this one. It's just an action figure. It's just a toy. In fact, with these soft goods, if I had cut my finger, got a paper cut, I could probably slip that off his leg and use it to stop the blood. This right here, that's not going to stop anything. If I needed to have like a quick pinky ring for uh, any sort of purposes that I might make someone kiss the pinky ring, that's when he comes in handy. So he does have some pros mostly cons versus a fake one and if you'll see this one looks actually bandaged versus this one was just a plastic ring so you like think he was faking his injury gotta be pimping with the ring exactly so let's see put that right back there again fake injury comes off right it right away doesn't even need it let's see is his belt even nope his belt's not removable this one it's removable after a hard day of, I don't know, accessing mainframes with his cyborg arm, he could take his belt off if he wanted to. Set it down on the nightstand, go to sleep with cyborg Mary Jane. So, again, this one, he's going to sleep. Rot him little pouches. I don't even know what's in them pouches. He has no reason to have those pouches. What's going on, Phil Donalan? I don't know if I said that right. Donayan? I'm not sure. But hey, what's up, Phil? Uh, let's see here. All right, so we'll put that belt back on. And that's a it's a real good look at him real quick. See? Oh yep, yeah, let's see. Yep. Has Ruben cheaped on the lines on the on the street there. Yeah. On the streak. Streaked lines on the shoes. There we go. More pouches, the down of the fool. You know, i.e., I, I kind of agree with that. But when I showed up to my local uh, gang hangout wearing three fanny packs, they laughed at me. They punched me in the face. They told me I was no longer allowed, that I had to go join a different gang. So it was, I don't know, man. Maybe the case with, with Cyborg Spider Man's. Is the fake more of a brighter red? So if you look at the two in my uh, apparently half a megapixel camera, the fake one is actually a little bit darker. It's a little bit deeper red. Uh, almost like if, if he were to, uh, like if they were both to join gangs, he'd probably go more for the bloods simply for the fact that his red is darker than his red. His blue is also brighter than the fake one's blue, so they'd probably take him as well. Because I, I don't know how gangs work, but I think that you can wear blue jeans still, even if blue's not your color. But I, I, don't quote me on that. Like, If you're in a gang, don't show up in your gang. If it doesn't like blue, don't show up in blue blue jeans because I don't, I don't know how. I don't know the rules, but uh, they haven't mentioned it in any um, rap songs, so... But there is the Cyborg spider man Let's see. Can they do full splits, either of them? Let's take a look at that, Phil, because you asked. So there we go with the fake. And actually, if you turn his legs upside down and swivel his thighs, there you go. He can get full-on Jean-Claude Van Damme splits right there. Now, as far as the real one, let's see. Oh, okay. All right. Let's twist his legs. Let's, nope. His legs aren't twisting the same. So, fake Spider-Man, Cyborg Spider-Man, real Cyborg spider -Man. This does not look good with my face right in the middle like that. I'm just, that's 
Phil, that was that was a that was a good setup, Phil. You made me uh, made me put my mouth between two two Spider Man crotches, cyborg crotches. Uh, let's see. I I have the privilege of wearing both colors at the same time because I'm a nerd. Well, that's good. I have the privilege because I have fair skin, so all colors look good on me. So I couldn't even join a gang. I would, if I try to join the gang, they'd be like, "You can't wear this color." Be like, uh, chill. I look good in every color. Side crotch. Yes, Thanos the Mad Titan. That is a side crotch. I was between two side crotches. Side crutch. I'm not sure how that's going to go there. Let's see. I approve all comments. There we go. Extendo. Oh, yeah. If it's, it's I assume if it's cybernetic, it can do all kinds of stuff. Like, oh, make my coffee. Cybernetic crutch. Imagine if that was, they should just call a new Keurig a cybernetic crotch just so it pops up on people's Christmas lists and their Amazon wish lists. So here again, we have the real one and the, wait, hold on. I'll switch hands. Okay, yeah. So this is the real one. Now the real one's in my right hand. I, I apologize for anybody who got confused by me switching hands. But this is the real one. This is the fake one again. Okay. So let's see here. You probably want to know. Oh, well, can they can they both do a, like a prison pose? Um, no, they cannot. This one doesn't bend that well. Oh, there we go. There we go. If you needed to. Well, he doesn't have a hand to do it for that one, but there we go, right there. As well as this one. There we go. Yep. All right. So they can both do that pose right there. They want to look hard in the hood. They can both do it. He could do the splits. He could do the that much. All right. Let's see here. So got them right there. And is there any more questions from uh all? Oh, well, six people now. I'm on a roll here. We have six other people who are awake at this time for whatever reason. Can you do the Michael Jackson he he pose? You know, let's take a look. So we got the we got the fake one first doing the what what there we go he he. Michael Jackson. And let's see. Oh man. He can't do the full hee hee. His his uh solar panels get in the way. He can't even lift his arm that high. So his is more the chamon. Chamon. I think that's what Michael Jackson was saying whenever he threw his hand out to the side. Let's see here. Double then A W three. Fake does pose fake poses better. Yes, that's true. And let's see. Is there any you any toy tuber you dislike or find funny? Well, if I found them funny, I probably wouldn't dislike them. Uh I don't think I haven't I haven't created no beef with anybody yet. But if anybody would like to have beef with me, let me know. That'd be cool. I'll do I'll do internet beef. I'll be like, buy this toy. Unlike YouTuber, whatever his name is. And uh don't wait for it till it's on clearance. That's me. I I usually wait till they go on clearance. But if I had to beef with somebody, I'd I'd, I'd beef with them. Man, look, it looks like my I got one with a jacked up finger too. Man, you're not gonna shoot web straight with that hand right there. Let's see. Uh IE, I'd like to have some beef with you with the side of shrimp and a baked potato. 
okay, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. But instead of the the shrimp, I'm gonna put pork chops on it. I used to always put steak and pork chops. That was like my food all the time, my my dinner. What's going on, Mr. Cortez? One two. Oh man, we got seven people now. Y'all people crazy watching YouTube this late at night. Shouldn't y'all be asleep or something? I'm not asleep right now. I'm irresponsible. That's why I'm still awake. Moving on up. Yeah, exactly. I'm tripping out. So, Mr. Cortez, if you're just joining us, I was just pointing out the differences between. Hold on. Yeah, between the real Cyborg Spider-Man and a fake Cyborg Spider-Man. Put a Van Damme head on fake and make a Cyborg Van Damme spider. Phil, that is the best idea I've heard all day. Cyborg Van Damme Spider-Man. Cyborg Spider Van Damme. That would be, yeah. Actually, if Jean-Claude Van Damme is watching this stream, he's probably already pitching that idea to Amazon right now as we speak. And he's probably not even going to give you the full credit, Phil. It's messed up. All right. So let's see here. Now he did. Yeah. What was it at? Yeah. So this is the package. He came with this thing from the big time Spider-Man and a fist. But the fake one, he didn't come with that stuff. Mr. Cortez, one, two, I'm, I'm OK with you being late. I was late to start this. I was I had a plan today. I was like, hey, you know, I'm going to go live at like 1030. Here it is. One forty seven. Decided to go live. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Now, did anybody get a chance to get the real one? Let me know in the comments if you did get the no, if you did get the real one with the solar panel. It's 247 near the mad Thanos, the mad Titan. That's that's late, too, man. You must be East Coast. Oh, big boy, they haven't hit your area yet. Oh, man. These are hitting like crazy on uh, Sunday. I always thought he would make a good Spider-Man in a movie. You talking about Van Damme still? Yeah, he would. He would because every Van Damme movie, he bangs some chick. And so he probably would have banged Mary Jane if he was a uh, Spider-Man. Let's see. Deco RJ stuff. Sonny coming out here being helpful with these kind of bids. People wouldn't be able to know otherwise. So what I'm doing, man. Just trying to educate the public. You know, let them know. Big boy, you in Connecticut? Cool, man. I think like was Connecticut's like small, right? That's probably why y'all haven't got them. Y'all might have missed. They might have the shipment might have missed. No, haven't seen them yet. Go out Thursday for a hunt. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see. Thanos went to, went to Walmart. I don't know if they had this at Walmart. I I kept seeing people po uh, post them at Target, so that's where I got them. Oh, you found the feces on the pegs. Yeah, that's Walmart for you right there. Beverly, Massachusetts. I can't say that, man. I can't say Massachusetts. I'm sorry that I can't pronounce that properly. I am from Texas, and our tongues don't work that way. So we just say Beverly, M.A. Unless M.A. is not from Massachusetts. I, I, it is, though. I think so. It's been a while since I was in first grade and I learned the state abbreviations. All right, let's see here. I feel like I got to keep these in frame at all times because then people pop in the chat and be like, I don't see Spider-Man at all. But there they are. Spider-Man's right there. Oh, we have eight people now. See, other YouTubers, I don't know if they do that. I don't know if they're like, oh, we have eight people. I'm like, hey, shout out to those eight people. I just hope that one of y'all was like intercoursing with your significant other, saw the notification that I went live and was like, 
sorry, babe. I got to go check out this video real quick and bounced. That's what I, I'd like to know that one of y'all did that. Even if y'all won't admit it, I'm going to assume y'all did it. I was watching SPM reactions on YouTube. It sucks growing up on SPM. Yeah, man. What happened with him is it's just wild. But, you know, I still jam his stuff. Like, uh, you know, I saw some guy at the self checkout with five Cyborg Spider-Mans at Target. That wasn't me. I am erect. That wasn't me. I didn't I only bought, I only got one. I got one, but I, I ordered it through the um, the curbside pickup thing. And I ordered them with two other figures for the buy two, get one free. And they didn't have the other two figures, so they gave them to me for like 14 bucks. I don't, I don't know what policy that is in Target, but it was 14 bucks. That's every single one in my state. Oh, man, big boy, everybody's buying them all up like that. Maybe, big boy, maybe you should buy them all. And then sell them to the scalpers at half a scalper price. And they can scalp them for their regular scalp weight. Yeah, you know what? Probably just had to get there early. It sucks. It sucks. But, you know, I waited like I was at midnight. I was I was drinking. So I was like up and I saw it hit. So I was like, all right, cool. We'll do it. But I was able to get Cyborg. Nope. I was able to get Cyborg Spider-Man. And now I can tell because he got that janky pinky right there. That's going to bother me. Actually, that might be the... Yeah, that's, that's not even a fancy pinky. Because a fancy pinky, it will point out more. This one's curved in like this. So, it sucks. Is it easy to find figures in Austin? Yeah, it is, dude. Like, it's... Like, uh, who was it that I found? Uh... The Baroness from the G.I. Joe line. I walked in on a Saturday afternoon at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. There was two of them on the shelf, so I picked one up and bought one. Everybody was like, oh, 100 bucks on eBay. That was right there on the shelf. Uh, found like, uh, what else did we find? Oh, Moon Knight. Found Moon Knight like six weeks before he was supposed to come out. He wasn't even in Walgreens system, but it was old people at the register, and they just Threw numbers in and charged me 20 bucks and I walked out. It's cool. Park the car in Harvard Yard. That's Massachusetts right there. I recognize that kind of talk. Let's see. Packing a meat salad. Came back from the hospital because I had to get my hand reattached. Like the whole hand? Part of it. I need to know more about that story right there. Packing a meat salad. Packing a meat salad. Were you packing your meat hand on the way to the hospital to get it reattached? Or did you get a cybernetic hand? Now we all need to know this information. The whole hand. Oh, man. The whole hand. Wait, how did you get your hand cut off? Now now this turned into how to tell a fake from the real Cyborg Spider-Man to how did packing a meat salad Get his hand cut off and reattached. So I assume. Wait, did you go to the hospital like. I need this reattached. And they were like, there you go. Just plug and play like a like a computer mouse. I trip out like. Medical stuff is crazy. They could even do that. Your chainsaw accidentally went off. Like you accidentally. Oh, yeah. Chainsaws be doing that sometimes. Like my chainsaw is rigged up. Like it doesn't even work properly. So I got zip ties. And if like it's not like it's not even a gas one. It's an electric one. But the triggers don't work, so I just got zip ties to make it always on. So when I want to use it, I got to plug it up. And when I don't want to use it, I got to unplug it. So it's like always on. Like if I'm cutting down trees, I just plug and leave it on and just put it on the floor somewhere. Just tell everybody not to go near it. This is Mr. Cortez 1-2. The Baroness was hard to get in San Antonio. Did not get it. I heard that San Antonio was hard to get stuff. Is that true? Because like I've been in some Texas group on Facebook and... 
I don't ever see nobody post good things about San Antonio. I do see people say that they come up to San Marcos and get stuff, though, from San Antonio. And packing a meat salad, I'm sorry that your hand got injured. That is very unfortunate. Uh, I'm glad that they're able to reattach your hand, though. But I got to ask. Is it did they have to like. Is it still the same length as the other? Because like, like I'm not a scientist, but like if I cut something with something thick, it might leave a little gap. So I'm, I just kind of wondering about that now. It's OK, though, because like I got scoliosis, so my my shoulders don't line up. And so I got one sh- hand shorter. So it's not the same instance, but, you know. I'm glad that they got reattached, though. Hopefully you get all the feeling back in it and all the functionality as well. I watch a lot of those shows sometimes and people don't always have that happen. So hopefully yours will come out good, though. All right. So let's see here. All right. So once again, if you just... uh, for some reason, if you skip forward, if you're re-airing this or re-looking at this later on, you skip forward. Uh, real Cyborg Spider-Man, fake Cyborg Spider-Man. Let's see. Mr. Cortez. Yes, man, it's hard. To, I go to Austin or San Marcos or New Braunfels to get my figures. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I hear. It's, that's kind of crazy. You got to come all the way out this way. But, you know, we got them. Actually, you probably still stick to, like, South Austin. I ain't really found nothing in South Austin. I'm, like, way up in North Austin, so that's where I find stuff. All right, right there. Let's see. There we go. Nope. Can't. Still not on frame. All right. All right, let's see here. Oh, man. The uh, fake Spider-Man lost his eye. There we go. Let's see. It might have struck, stunk a little, strunk a little bit because I had to run to the hospital and had the hand in my hand. Got there. Oh, okay. That's good that you had it, that you were able to uh, get there quickly. Like, I remember one time... uh, I had some reaction to some uh, medicine that I was given and it's made my, my neck swell up and it took us forever to get to a hospital. The doctor, I get there, the doctor's like, Oh, if you had waited 30 minutes, you would have died. And I was like, I mean, can you say with like a little bit more like sympathy or something, but doctors are harsh, man. Couldn't feel pain when the hand was cut off. Oh, God dang. That's, that must have been that adrenaline, man. That is that is a wild story right there. Let's see, Mr. Cortez, Sonny, would you ever do any stand-up shows in San Antonio? I've done a few stand-up shows in San Antonio. I did one at some weird little like random bar with uh Chingo Bling was there, and he had invited me to be on the show with him. And it was maybe like four people that showed up and we did instead of a stage, they had just like pallets stacked up, like four pallets high stacked up. And we had to kind of keep our balance on this. So we didn't fall off or injure ourselves. And it was it was probably one of the worst shows I've ever been a part of. Uh, we had like nine comedians there, and four people in the audience, and nobody cared about us. They just want to see Chingo Bling, and he didn't even rap, so I don't know if they got their money's worth. And it was like the drinks were like eight bucks a drink, and they were weaker than anything. So yeah, it's kind of kind of weird. Uh, but and then I did a show. I done a few shows in San Antonio. Actually, I just did a. Uh, an HBO festival back in February in San Antonio. That was actually my last stand up that I ever did before the pandemic hit. 
that was a cool so that was a cool show right there let's see packing the meat salad when i was near the doors a woman was gonna open the door and she was like nah i walked away dang that's kind of messed up people were people were kind of messed up though at the emergency room i found out that like when my neck was all swollen up and i was about to suffocate uh some lady went in there and she was like, I need to see a doctor. I need to see a doctor. And they were like, ma'am, it's okay. And she's like, I have this, 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 uh, protrusion. And I was like, I can't talk. Like I might, I might, I might just like stop breathing at this moment, but you know, she had a bump. So let's see, Phil, I worked on the river walk in Texas at the Bayou's Riverside restaurant, San Antonio, where I lived there many years ago. I've never been to that restaurant. I've been to the Riverwalk. I always go there because, you know, when you're in San Antonio, you hit the Riverwalk, you hit the Alamo, hope you see a ghost. Um, you hit, like, all that little downtown area. Actually, where I had my last show was at the, Ma- the Majestic, I think it was called. I think it's called the Majestic. And they put me up on a little, nice little hotel out there. It was cool. I like San Antonio. It's a nice little city. I mean, it sucks that y'all can't get no action figures down there, but, you know, y'all get to come visit Austin. Hey. All right, let's see here. Okay. Again, I got to always come back to, to this right here. So just a quick breakdown. Real one. Head wrap, leather band for the eye patch, solar panel, pinky ring, too many pouches, and hole for Captain America shield in the back. Fake one, soft goods, soft goods, possibly heat up your leftovers, removable eye there. Let's see, Miss Mr. Pickle Chin Lasso Kid of Arkansas 17. Dog, you mean to tell me there's 16 other people that have Mr. Pickle Chin Lasso Kid of Arkansas that you had to be Mr. Pickle Chin Lasso Kid of Arkansas 17? That's wild, man. I uh, just had a fight with the guy in the parking lot of TGI Fridays. Went home with Cyborg Spider Man, though. I won the fight. I feel the champ. Hey, that's a good way to celebrate. If you fight with somebody and you win, you should definitely get your toy out of it. It's like a prize. So oh, what y'all fighting for? I, I'm going to fight for this uh, Cyborg Spider-Man. The other dude is probably like, I'm going to fight for another round of uh, potato skins. But hey, congratulations, Mr. Pickle Chin, Lasso Kid of Arkansas 17 on the victory. And on the Sp- Cyborg Spider-Man. I just hope that you got the real one. And not the fake one. Although the fake one is a bit of, little bit more better quality. Uh, and has better accessories. Better flexibilities. As we learn. He can do the full splits. Versus the real one. The real one is like that fat girl. That made the cheerleader squad somehow. Like she can jump and spread her legs. But not as good as the skinny girls. Unless she's one of those like really athletic big girls, for some reason they can move. Why well, say they can move? They can fight. Those those are the ones that can fight real good. Like Mr. Pickle Chin Lasso Kid of Arkansas 17. Obviously, he can fight good too. All right, let's see here. I love the stories that come out late at night, like picking, packing a meat salad. We found out about your unfortunate incident with with the chainsaw. Mr. Pickle Chin, Lasso Kid of Arkansas 17, had a fight. Let's see. Mr. Cortez, I'd still hit that fat girl. Okay, I'm going to explain that one for people who may not be in Texas. I don't know that that phrase means the same thing outside of Texas as it does in Texas. I still hit that fat girl means he would still take his chances with intercourse with the chunkiness. I don't want people to be like, Mr. Cortez will punch a fat girl in the face. That's not what that means. So 
I got your back, though, Mr. Cortez. Big boy, it does everywhere. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure. Let's see. Archibald Meat Pants. Well, we got lots of meat going on here. I like it. I got off work from KFC. Do you want me to reveal the secrets? Yes. I would like to know every herb and spice that y'all use. Big boy, y'all say that? Okay, y'all say hit that too? Okay, cool. But do you also say like, like, uh, yeah, I guess it would still be hit that, yeah. Remember, does anybody remember when it used to be tap that instead of hit that? Like, it got more violent over the years. It's just kind of crazy. Uh, let's see. I'm still waiting for those 11 herbs and spices right there. About to go hit up H-E-B, which is our grocery store, uh, and get them 11 herbs and spices. Make me some chicken tomorrow. A worker spinning someone's coleslaw in the pot pies are months old. Dude. I, my wife got a pot pie like about a month ago and she was like, this tastes old. And I was like, it probably is. I was like, aren't those like frozen at the store? So let's see. Phil, tag that. Y'all say tag that. Okay. Cool. I ain't never heard tag that. Whoa, hold on. Is that for like big girls? Because y'all, they, you know, they tag whales and stuff like that. I wonder if that's what that means. H-E-B barbacoa and Big Red. Man, I prefer the H-E-B brisket. It comes in that little plastic tub. Man, that stuff goes hard right there. It's like $8 for like one sitting, though. That's the only thing that sucks. And Big Red. Big Red is delicious. I do Big Red and vodka. Like, I do that. I do Big Red by itself, too. All right, let me see. Oh, man, his removable eye just came off again. There we go. Put that removable eye right back. There we go. All right, that removable eye wants to stay off now. You know, I've been calling this eye patch. That's a monocle. I just realized that is a digital monocle that he got. So I apologize. Um, now y'all got to be like 48 minutes deep before you find out what the real word for that is. Oh, man, that's uh, that's some that's on me right there. All right. Did you get that Marvel Legends Rogue? I did. Got the rogue. I accidentally ordered two of them by accident, but Target was like, oh, you can only have one. I was like, that's cool. I didn't, I didn't mean to hit that twice. Not hit that as in hit that that we were saying earlier. I meant hit that submit button. Ah, uh, let's see. It. Hey, Thor 2012. What's going on, man? Cyber Spider has a removable eye. You're killing Hasbro. I know, man. That's what I'm saying. He got the removable monocle versus the real one. Doesn't have that. It's not even fuzzy. I don't know if y'all can see in my half a megapixel camera. Uh, let's see, Phil. We don't have Big Red here. We have Dr. Pepper. Phil... Dr. Pepper, I think, was invented in Texas or something. I don't know. There's a Dr. Pepper museum up in Waco, like an hour away from me. I'd hit that rogue as a tiny action figure, dude. Okay, Thor 2012. That's, that's you know, hey. Not going to hate hate on that, okay? Although, wrap it up. You will raw dog that and she could kill you. So, just be aware. Should take whatever skills you have, too. Like, you might be raw dog and rogue, and all of a sudden she's like, oh, man, I can play chess. I don't know if you, I, I, I don't know if you play chess, but hey. Yes, thank you, Deco RJ stuff. The uh, fake Cyborg Spider-Man can do the full splits. Fat girl cheerleader stance, as far as the, the real one goes. See, I'm going to be at work tomorrow now. I'm going to be all tired on my meetings. 
They'll be like, Sonny, what happened? I'll be like, talking about toys till 2 o'clock in the morning. And we're back up to seven viewers. All right. I feel like this would be like the worst telethon ever. I'd be like, hey, make sure y'all call in, all seven of y'all. I keep standing the two cyborg Spider-Mans right here. Y'all can't even see them. There you go. Yeah, you right. Got to wrap it up. Yeah, man, you got to wrap it up with Rogue, man. Don't want to be like that. I mean, like, uh, like Iceman on the X-Men movie. Make it look like uh, some sort of Breathman's commercial when she blew out that uh, condensation or whatever. Big boy. Yep, I stayed up clown with y'all on YouTube. See, Spider-Man actually can split like Spidey should, but not squat over toilet stick articulation. That's correct. You and the Pearl was classic. Hey man, thank yeah, thanks y'all. For, thank y'all for watching. Like I went back the next day to watch it to see what the comments were saying and stuff. And I was like, man, I don't know how it was streamed, but I was getting all those comments. Like most of them were coming in real late, so I was like, man, I can't even reply to this no more. Like that, that we didn't change subjects already. Yeah, that that was that was cool. That was a cool night. It was real fun. So. He keeps saying he'll have me on again, but who knows? You know, I wouldn't have me on again. I don't even know why I made a second video in the first place, but hey, you know. All right, let's see here. Now, I will take a page out of his book. I'll be like, hey, let's go for nine more minutes, eight more minutes to give an hour here. Did you get the retro gambit? I got the retro gambit. Got the retro gambit. I had to get the retro gambit. Like, I had the actual gambit from the old Toy Biz, what, four inch, five inch figures. I got that gambit still. I don't think I, I think I might have his jacket too. But he don't come with the staff like the original one did. Oh, wait, yeah, there it is right there. I'm tripping. There's that staff right there. So he does got it. Cool. Hey, speaking of the stream, we got copyright claim by Sony. Do you get some of that claim? That's that's actually what I was asking. Well, I was wondering about that because like I do get royalties for all that stuff, so I'll probably get that'll probably be kicked into my little check at some point. Like maybe May is when I'll probably see any proceeds. They they do it kind of weird. But yeah, he uh that was funny though. Like he can't get money off of it which I don't know how much you would get but I might get like five cents from it so sometimes I get weird little amounts on my checks and it tells me it gives us little breakdowns and sometimes it's dumb but you know I might get my little five cents off of that I should just do that like while I'm not monetized like just keep showing my own clip and let Sony make money and then give me the residuals from it that'd be cool Hey, what's going on, Scarlet Kid One? Rolling in YouTube money, man. You know it. Oh, we got nine nine viewers now. Okay, cool. We're gaining some more some more momentum here. So let's see. If you're just joining us, we've been talking about fake cyborg Spidey versus real cyborg Spidey and how the fake is superior. Uh, we talked about chainsaw accidents. We talked about hitting fat chicks. Talked about, uh, we're still waiting on the 11 herbs and spices from KFC's recipes. By the way, don't buy the pot pies from there. Uh, we also talked about fights in TGI Fridays, so we're all good. They give me royalties late like Wimpy with hamburgers. Yes, and I get that. I used to watch Popeye's. I like that reference. Yeah, Scarlet Kid 1, I, it started off as just a two-minute Spider-Man clip. Now we're going off 53, 55 minutes going. So we're good. We're good with it. And then so if I could figure out how to play some Idiocracy, I would. So I'd get some money. But, you know, it is what it is. They'll give me a check later. So let's see. Oh, we talked about possible Commando or Man Thong for this Spider-Man versus 
Probably got some uh, some draws on here. Pitman Thor, what's going on? I want the retro gram, but yeah, it looks cool, man. I haven't opened it yet, but it looks cool. I might let my kids give me that one for Christmas. I'll be all open it. Oh man, how'd y'all know? Let me see. Let me know if you have any stand up in Austin so me and my family go see you. Yeah, Mr. Cortez, I'll, I'll start posting that once the world starts opening back up. It kind of sucks because right, we lost our comedy clubs here in Austin, so I don't really know who's going to be opening one. Everybody says Joe Rogan will open a show, a uh, uh, club here, so we don't know. But Scarlet Kid, when you still get money from that movie, I will always get money from that movie as long as it is played somewhere. So, like, when Trump became president, I got pretty good amount of money from that. Like, not like like Luke Wilson probably got a lot more money, but I got like I want to say the that year I probably got about. 500 bucks or something like that from it, which is good because, you know, I didn't do a whole lot. Uh, let's see. I watched your lower clip was cracking me up. Thank you. That was a uh, was very, very weird for me because there I was the only one they told to act normal and everybody else. They're like, can you dumb it down some? You're going to get that removal helmet Mondo. Yeah, I want to. I keep trying to look for it, but it's not coming up. And yeah, here in my household, we call him Mondo, as if his first name was Armando, and we just call him Mondo. Everybody's like, Mando. I'm like, nah, man, that spells Mondo. That's been spelling Mondo for years, so we're going with Mondo. But yeah, that would be cool to get him. Although the face does kind of look jacked up, but, you know, it's all good. Let's see. They both look like real cyborg Spidey crazy. I know, they do. And one glistens in the sun versus the other one who just has his solar panel to power up his arm. Also, that fist looks a little large. He got man hands for real. Mondo, I ain't mad at you. Exactly, Thor 2012. Like, I grew up seeing that name spelled that way and we called that person Mondo. I was watching your comedy vids, man. You kill it. The used dog and used woman joke. Dude, killer. Man, that used dog joke and used woman's joke. Uh, it didn't fly one time. I was I was doing my show and that like one of the other comedians had commented on the crowd and like there was a ton of women in there and they were like, we're here for a bachelorette party. Woo. So I did my used dog joke. They laughed. Then I did my used girlfriend joke and they didn't laugh. And I was like, man, it looks like we got a bunch of rescues in here. And then everyone who wasn't with that party laughed. And so I was like, OK, cool. Like, I guess I kind of redeemed myself from it. But I get that sometimes they don't want to laugh because it sounds mean. So I just say something meaner and make them laugh. Works out. Just got to be able to like, OK, now let me judge the crowd. Now, let me let me bully the crowd at this point. Y'all going to laugh. I like the stillborn intro joke. Thank you. That is my mom's favorite joke. And I'm like, Mom, that is talking about dead babies. And actually, while my wife was pregnant, I did not say that joke at all. I was like, I'm going to make sure my kid comes out before that stillborn, stillborn joke comes back to bite me. So I went like eight months without saying that joke. That one Spidey has a knife in his belt. Yeah, he even got a pistol. The fake Spidey, the fake Cyborg Spidey, he got a pistol. In case things get rough like Robocop. He got grenades too. He just got pouches for days. Like, I don't know. He wouldn't. It wouldn't even be for batteries because he has a solar panel to power up his arm. So he probably just got like fruit snacks in there. Or man thongs. Uh, let's see here. How would they look if you swap their heads? We don't know. Let's take a look at that. Oh, that's a big peg. Let me see if it fits. Let's see. Right now. Dr. Hoo-ha, sphincter babooey cream filling. Man, I wish my doctor would name that. Oh, there we go. 
that soft goods eye. And that soft goods bandana. There we go right there. Real spotty. Real cyborg spotty. Fake cyborg spotty head. And real cyborg spotty head. Fake cyborg spotty body. The only thing is the reds don't match. It's like he bought the mask like for three washes before he bought the suit. And so this kind of faded because he didn't use the right laundry detergent. And so now it doesn't match. Let's see. Thor 2012. Yeah, I might want to hold that joke during that time. Yeah, the stillborn joke I did. I was like, ah, I can't talk about dead babies right now. Got to feed this growing. Scarlet Kid 1, I agree. Bootlegs better. Empty pouches. Mr. Cortez 12. The yeah, P.O. Box. I don't. I was going to go buy a P.O. Box and then uh, I just got lazy. So I didn't go. Because someone else asked me for a P.O. Box too and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get one yet. Big boy, what kind of fruit snacks though? He's probably got like them, them cheap little Welch's ones that are actually the shape of fruits. Whereas I think the the fake one would be a little bit more fun. He probably got like Scooby Doo shaped snacks. They need a Samir swords, Samir swords. I don't know, man. I'm Mexican, we eat machetes. Let's see. Pitman Thor. The Mandalorian is going to be dope when it comes out. Pre-orders. Yeah, pre-orders are sold out. I tried to even get it at the midnight thing, and they were like, nah, fool. You missed it by, like, a month. Thor 2012. That's the good. The reds don't match. He's supposed to be hodgepodge anyway. Bootleg with real head looking dope. Actually, I do like the way that head looks on that body right there. Can you imagine if you were, like, at a club somewhere? You saw two women at the bar, and you're like, "Ooh, you know what? Oh, I would like the way that head looks on that body." I think you'll probably get kicked out of the bar. They'd be like, "Man, you're not gonna chop up bodies here. Get out of here." Doctor Who high sphincter by buoy cream filling. I sent an abortion joke at a hospital, and I got kicked out. Oh man, why? Abortions are all about getting kicked out. Like, get out of here, you fetus. Yeah, that Spidey is ready for whatever Spidey for sure, fool. Yeah, that's a, that's a legit Spidey right there. He's ready to throw down. All right, nine viewers. All right, I like that. I also like to announce how many viewers I have. Samurai Swords. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. I was like, Samir Sword? I was like, that sounds Indian. I know a dude named Samir. I don't know what kind of swords he makes, though. Let's see, uh, Scarlet Kid one. I can't get over the face sculpt on the on the Mondo. Sorry, I got my cursor right there. Looks like he's having a reaction to a nut allergy. Yeah, like he was down. They teabagged him. Nut allergy. Ah. What's your favorite SPM song? Man, my favorite SPM song is probably probably habitual criminal i love that song i jammed that one for my kids and they're like what like you took us out of the hood why are you singing these lyrics but i think i think habitual criminal is my favorite song i miss see thor 2012 now i go to the club i'm going to think of sonny's head switching with females it's that's what i'm saying man you're gonna it's it's gonna be in your head you're gonna end up doing it you know just don't say it out loud Unless you had a few drinks, then you can blame it on the alcohol. Be like, oh, I'm sorry, I talk crazy when I drink. Mexican radio is a good song too. That's a good one. Mr. Cortez, twelve. Sorry, I should probably repeat what I'm saying for the video for for the illiterate folks who can't read on you know the chat. But yeah, Mexican radio is a good song. I'm on a Mexican radio, radio, radio. I like that. Let's see. Dr. Who has sphincter babooey cream filling. If you chop off the girl's head, then you can head swap them. Easy. Yeah, you could. Especially if you don't get spinal cord in it. Just plop it on. And actually, this, the real Spider-Man head, he got stitches. Which you can't see because I have a half megapixel camera. But he does have little stitch marks on him. I don't know if his body does. No, his body doesn't. Just his head. So he's like the Frankenstein of Spider-Mans. But yes, if you chop off two, 
man, like this is probably going to get flagged. They'll be like, dude, we, we, we can't let your video play. You're talking about chopping women's heads up and swapping them. But it's to make two average women into one hot woman. So, I don't know. Kit bashing women. Uh, he was snitching, yo, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, the stitches don't even go all the way. They just go like halfway up. And uh, meat salad. Hope your stitches heal good, man. For those of y'all that don't know what I'm talking about, you're going to have to scroll up in the chat. All right, let's see here. So anyway, yeah. Oh wait, I'm gonna, I'm about to confuse everybody. That, like, just came in. They're like, wait, I don't get it. That's that looks like the real head on a fake body. Yeah, it is. All right, there we go. I'm just putting this this head back. There we go. Fake cyborg spidey. Real cyborg spidey. So it's a little glossier too. Is that just my light? Yeah, he look a little bit more shiny. Alright. Oh, okay, Thor 2012 went all the way back up. Yeah, he got his whole hand reattached. So we're hoping that that heals properly. Mr. Cortez wants to. Who are your favorite top three YouTubers? Uh so I have this channel and I have another channel. So those are the top two spots. I uh, haven't decided who my top three is. Maybe I'll create another channel tomorrow. And that'll be my top three right there. Spider-Man must be a snitch. He has stitches. Yeah, that's what happens. That's what happens to snitches. Also, if you call Crime Stoppers, then snitches get riches because they'll pay you like 50 bucks. Or at least that's what they told me when I was a kid. They're like, hey, if you see crime reported, you'll get $50. And I was like, let me put you on speed dial. I live in the ghetto. There's crime all the time. And they never gave me 50 bucks. I just looked like a little tattletale. So it kind of sucked. Let's see. Dr. Who Ha Sphincter Babui Cream Filling. Just saw a homeless guy with a sign that said, need money for drugs. At least he's honest. He was right outside of Target. Oh, man. But you had probably just spent all your money on action figures. So the, um, the plastic drug of choice. Oh, wait. That one. That's the real one. Yeah, we have a big homeless problem here in Austin. The mayor, was it the, yeah, the mayor was like, hey, homeless people, y'all can buy tents and set up wherever y'all want. So now we got homeless people everywhere. Which, I guess it would be cool if I find the right homeless person and I'm like, hey, man, I need a wheelbarrow. And then they can give me a wheelbarrow for like five bucks. Then, you know, it's useful. He needed money for Target exclusives. He ain't fooling nobody. Yeah, Thor 2012. You know, some people might be like, oh, I got to, like, where's all your money going? Oh, I do a lot of crack. But then you go look and they have, like, all the action figures that just came out, including the Toddy Mac ones. By the way, I love that the Toddy Mac phrase is jumping to other YouTubers and all over Instagram. I think that's cool. I hope that one day... Toddy Mac comes out. He's like, hey, guys, Toddy Mac, here's the new spawn. Like, I hope he starts using it, too. That'd be dope. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. So, pow, pow, like, here in the Mexican, Hispanic culture, pow, pow means you're about to get spanking. Like, that's that's like a, it'd be like, what? Don't touch that again. You get pow, pow. So, I don't know. That's like a verb here. It's kind of weird. It's not really an onomatopoeia. It's a verb. You collect NECA Ninja Turtles. Bill Fall Gravity, I got the foot soldiers because I saw them, but uh, I don't think I'll get any more. Like, I just I thought the foot soldiers looked cool, so I got the foot soldiers, but I don't got any actual turtles there. But it hasn't gotten back to Tidy Mac himself. Thor 2012. I hope it does. That would be cool. Todd said, who doesn't love the crotch? Who doesn't love the crotch, though? Like, well, it depends on what crotch, I guess, I should say. Because, like, if you see two ladies and you're like, ooh, I wonder what that crotch would look like on that body. And then you 
crotch swap, then you might like the crotch. So I get it. Let's see. In the Philippines, it's pack instead of pow. Really? I like that. Pack, pack for like a spanking or like a pow, pow. Like I like, I do like to know different onomatopoeias and stuff like that. That is cool. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I know what video you're talking about. He was talking about Batman's crotch. That's right. I did see that video. It was awkward. But he found a crotch he liked. He put it on that body. Let's see. Gonna make build a chick. They should. Be like, ooh, that'll make a good back right there. Back. He has a build a chick, not a bath, like a BAF. Build a chick, BAC. Do you have Boba Boba Fett Black Series? If not, I can send you one. I do not, unfortunately, have Boba Fett Black Series. I haven't, like, I saw Black Series a whole lot at one point, and now I don't see hardly any. Like, it's just, uh, uh, who is it? The little robot thing. I don't know. I, I forgot what his name is, but that's all I ever see now. Batman is packing a meat salad. Oh, yeah. Meat salad. There we go. Like the movie Weird Science, Build Your Own Chick. Yeah, man, Weird Science. I remember seeing that movie. That was cool. Um, and then it had a TV show too, but I, I don't, I don't know. I didn't get into the TV show. I just saw the movie. They're actually making. I saw. I think it's NECA. That's making when the brother melts into that weird blob thing. They're making that an action figure. I saw it somewhere. I don't know if it's a rumor. I hope it is because that looks dumb. But I think it was NECA that's making it. From Weird Science. In case one of my nine viewers doesn't know Weird Science, what it's about. Chet, yes. Thank you. That's the name, Chet. So, I don't know that it'll sell, but, you know. Yeah, Melted Chet. They're supposed to be making it, so. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it's real or not, but I did see it on Facebook, and so it's probably real. Super 7. Is Super 7 the one that's making it? Either way, I'm like, ah, I don't think I'm going to get that one. Now, if they sold the 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 lady they made, I might get that. That'd be cool. Because she has all the superpowers and stuff from, you know, what was it like? Windows 95? Not in Windows 95. It was like DOS prompt style computer. Robert Downey Jr. was in it. Yeah, he was. That's right. I remember reading that somewhere. Heard McFarlane's making Batman Beyond with the Joker Bob build a figure. I would Batman Beyond would be cool. I used to watch that cartoon all the time. That would be cool. Scarlet Kid, I'm not even sure what you're excited about. We've had so much excitement going right now. We're talking about Weird Science, Melted Chat, Super Seven, Robert Downey Jr. I could you could be saying, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. He's a good actor. You know, he too had a drug problem like that homeless person with the drug sign in front of the target. But now he's better. He's Iron, he's Iron Man now, so that works. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, where'd this hand come from? I just found a random hand. Okay. Not, not saying anything about meat salad. Again, hope hope that heals up properly, man. Some of y'all probably don't even know what's going on. Like, what does that even mean? But yeah. Thor twenty twelve knows what's up. He was there. Well, he wasn't there, but he went back. All right, let's see. All right, then we're going to get up out of here. I do appreciate y'all checking out the live stream. Real Cyborg Spider-Man versus fake Cyborg Spider-Man. Don't get fooled by... Well, actually, you could get fooled by buying the fake one. It's a little bit better build than the real one. Uh, don't get fooled into buying the real one. Go for the fake one instead. With the soft goods, uh, better mobility, and full-on splits. But uh, I do want to thank y'all all for doing this. I pre-ordered the Sandal Miles Riles from GameStop. Like $7.99. God dang, Big Box Toy Store or Big Bad Toy Store wanted a 145. Ooh, that's crazy. It's all good, Thor 2012. It, the, you know, my rerun will play as soon as 
YouTube does their stuff or whatever. But, you know, I do appreciate you uh, tuning in. Caesar the Chimp, what's going on, man? Pack of meat lost his hand. Yeah. You know, he didn't lose it. He cut it off. He took it to the hospital. They put it back for him. So he didn't lose it. He found it, luckily, and they were able to reattach it. I came in late, was at work. Oh, man. Yeah, I got to be in work in like a few hours. So I figured I'd probably go to sleep for a little bit. See what's up with that. Haunted Chainsaw. Good night, son. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Cortez, for tuning in. Uh, thank everyone for tuning in. Mr. Cortez, if you're on Instagram, you want to send that Black Series to me, let me know. I don't got a PO box, but I got a mailbox. So we'll see. All right. I appreciate y'all and uh, we look forward to doing more live streams, you know, whenever I feel like it. So we'll see y'all. Appreciate y'all.